Okay, hi, I wanted to do a quick video based on the flower sun hat that I have been working on. Um, I've made this basic flower, so I chained 14, no, 15, and then turned back so that there's 14 stitches. Single crochet back, and then in every other stitch, I made these um, half double, double crochet petals. So half double, double crochet, chain, etc. Now I'm going to take it, fold it, and just stitch right through. And I'm just going to do this back and forth through the base, oops, through the base of these stitches. So you can see here, I've got it pulled through, and now I'm going to Mm, come on camera, I'm gonna fold over and then take my needle with my thread and just stab it. Alright, so you'll see here I'm going through this base. I've got that small petal here and it wraps around. Whew. So I'm gonna come through here, pull through. Here I am again, I've got this, and I've got, remember that single crochet row is right here, come through here, whatever my next stitch is, my next stitch is here, here's that, here's this next stitch, the next hole, whatever, it's very flexible, and here we are, back through. These are very easy to make for first time crocheters wanting to do something a little bit free form for your first go. And I'm going to come back through here. You'll see I've got this loose petal. I'm going to come in through here. Come on camera, focus. Thank you. I'm going to come through here, poke through. Normally I poke away from me, not towards me. Um, I'm going to poke through here, that because that's what I want secured down. And I'm going to just poke through the base of this solid body of flowers, right through here. All right, I'm gonna check to see, that's a little loose, so I'm gonna come back through. Still a little loose, right? I'm gonna come back through this here. These two stitches here. I'm sorry about the focusing issue. We're gonna come through here, and then I'm just gonna pull through So you'll see I've got the bottom of this stitch and then the very first like part of the chain of that, what is this last one? That's going to be the half double crochet. I just want to come up through one and back down. I know I'm doing it fast because of practice. Take your time. Look at what you're doing. And we are pulled through nice and sturdy. And so the other tail here from the up first side that you saw at the beginning, I will use to sew on to the headband that I am working on for my kiddo because she wants a flower headband um, like my sun hat because I've been wearing it around and she loves it. Um, looks like I might have gotten my tail stuck around here. This is going to be in the back. Nobody's going to notice it. If anything, I could just pull and loosen up and redo it. But honestly, it's going to be at the very bottom of it. Nobody will notice it when it's on the headband of a four-year-old. Um, but that's one of those things that you can just do to practice. I made this one so that I could make that quick stitch video for you for the base. Um, I'll be working on more of those videos here soon for more different basic things. Uh, while I'm getting my wrist back in after my injury. Hope you have a good one. Naughty friends. Bye.